Hello and welcome back to the complete day trading course by Wealthy Education. In this video, we'll take a look at double tops and bottoms. A double top or a double bottom is exactly what it sounds like. It is where price reaches, in the case of a double top, two areas or two times the same area. It's a top of the market, if you will. And a double bottom is, well, the exact opposite. They're pretty easy to trade, actually. There are a multitude of ways that you can approach it. Um, but the most conservative way is to wait until you have not only the potential double bottom, but you break above what would be uh, the middle part of what eventually becomes a W or an M pattern. So basically you need, um, in the case of a double bottom, a low, a lower high, a similar low, same price, basically, and then a higher high. So it shows a bit of a reversal. Pretty straightforward to trade. Uh, very powerful, especially when you talk about uh, trending markets. So, for example, I've got Amazon in front of you. This is a market that has clearly shown a bit of resistance here. And we have a little bit of a double uh, top here. You could play this out like this. So. At this point, what do you do? Well, you short on a break of what would be the bottom of the M, the middle part of the M pattern, and you aim for the next support of resistance, which is right here, 1910. And you can see that worked out quite nicely. That was a very negative day, and we rolled over. Um, there's one here. Now, there is a wick that comes down lower, but most people look at these in the um, candle body themselves. So where do we go? We go right to where that resistance is. Pretty straightforward. So not a huge trade, but a nice one. Keep in mind that this is a 15-minute chart. Where do you put the stops? Well, the stops are pretty straightforward. You just put them above the double top or below the double bottom. Uh, are they reliable? Yes, they're pretty reliable. I mean, nothing's 100%. The higher the time frame, of course, the more important they are. If they go with the trend, meaning if we get a situation where we're in an uptrend and then we get a pullback, um, they tend to be more reliable. So by virtue of the way Amazon has traded for, I, you know, as long as I can remember at least, it's been in an uptrend, so by virtue of that, double bottoms have worked out quite well. Um, here in the uh, Citigroup stock, you can see that we've been pretty negative for some time. So this isn't technically a double top because they are spaced out a little bit too far. Uh, and, you know, don't get too hung up on the idea of the exact tick. You know, if they're a few cents apart, the tops or the bottoms, it's not that big of a deal. So, for example, I would consider this a double top. I would consider that your breakout point, and you can see that we ended up filling all the way down to that gap uh, two days later. Most of the day, you would have been selling off as well. Um, double top there, right down to the resistance. Double bottom rallied quite nicely. Sometimes, if you don't really have a target, let's just say you don't up here, you can take the size of the pattern itself, extrapolate that. So one for one, just like you would with like a rectangle or something like that. If this is $10, for example, then your target is $10 on a breakout. It's treated the same way. So in this trade, you'd be long here. You would be aiming for about, I'm going to eyeball this and say 60 cents. You would have stop loss here. Um, and then that would be uh, 60 cents. So you're looking at 72.60, which is right there, which is basically right where it stopped. Pretty straightforward way to trade. Very common. Um, no magic to it whatsoever. It's just an area where price can't either go above or below. So simply trade where the market doesn't want to be. That's the idea of a double bottom or a double top.